Hello friends, so here is another question on uh, superposition principle due to multiple electrical charges. So here we have uh, the question is that we have to consider three charges Q1, Q2, Q3 each having a value equal to small q okay they have same value q1 equals to q2 equals to q3 equals to q same charge value they are placed at the vertices of an equilateral triangle of side l what is the force on a charge capital q having the same sign as q1 q2 q3 which is equal to plus q which is placed at the centroid of the triangle capital q charge is placed at the centroid of the triangle <coughs> So this is the information, the data which is given. Now we have to convert it into accurate circuit diagram. Uh, sorry, accurate diagram. Okay. So we have to draw an equilateral triangle here. So we'll draw the uh, diagram. So we have an equilateral triangle. Okay. Okay, this is the equilateral triangle. We have points A, B, C. The charges that are present here, they are equal to Q, Q, all are equal, Q, okay, same value. And we have a charge which is present at the centroid. So if you remember uh, basic high school mathematics, centroid is the point where the three medians of these three sides of a triangle they intersect. Okay, median is the midpoint of the any 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 particular side of a triangle. Since it is an equilateral triangle, it is very simple. So this the midpoint then this is the midpoint and then this one this this point of intersection of these three medians is called as the centroid and another important property is that it divides this median this line segment joining one of the vertices to the midpoint of the opposite side in the ratio 2 is to 1 2 is to 1 in that ratio it divides it so here another important information is that the length of the sides are l so it has been given that a charge capital q let's call the centroid point as o and a charge capital q is placed at this point O, capital Q, it is placed at O. So it has been asked what is the force on this charge Q, okay. So here, uh, these, this capital Q charge, it will experience three forces because of its interaction with these small q charges placed at a b and c okay so here first the charge because of the interaction of this capital q charge with a okay so let's call it f a o okay that will be equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 capital Q small q by how much that is equal to OA whole square OA whole square so we have to determine this OA OB OC here OA will be equal to OB will be equal to OC because it is an equilateral triangle 
and that will be equal to this point let's call it d okay this point the midpoint d ad is equal to how much ad is equal to ab sin 60 degree this angle is 60 degree equilateral triangle this angle is 60 degree ab sin 60 degree which is equal to l sin 60 degree which is equal to root 3 by 2 l that is equal to ad oa is equal to 2 by 3 because it divides in the ratio 2 is to 1 so this will be 2 by 2/3 of the total ad which is equal to 2 by 3 into root 3 by 2 l 2 2 will get cancelled this will be root 3 so oa ob oc is equal to l by root 3 because it is an equilateral triangle l by root 3 where l is the side of the equilateral triangle the length of the side of the equilateral triangle as all these sides are equal this distances from the centroid oa ob oc will be equal which is equal to l by root 3 so here it is equal to we'll substitute uh, that will be equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 q q by l by root 3 whole square which is equal to 3 q q by 4 pi epsilon 0 l square that is f a o similarly f a o and this force it will be in this direction okay fao as both have the same sign plus capital q plus q it will be a repelling type force it will be this fao this okay let me write it here okay fao okay you are getting it fao this one then we have f bo because of the charge small q present here f bo again same thing it will have the same value only the direction will be different by 4 pi epsilon 0 qq by ob whole square same thing because oa ob oc they are equal l by root 3 charges that are present at the three vertices they are equal small q and this is q interaction is the same so it will be same 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 q q by l by root 3 whole square that will be equal to 3 q q by 4 pi epsilon 0 l square so fbo is also that again this force it will also be a repelling type force it will be in this direction fbo this is plus small q this is plus capital q so it will be in this direction repelling type force f b o okay this one is also repelling type this one is also repelling type because they are of the same sign then another force is f c o okay because of this charge small q placed at c and o so fco will be same thing fco all the values are same so that will also be equal to 3 q q by 4 pi epsilon 0 l square and this force it will also be repelling type and will be directed in this direction this one like this okay this one it will be f c o this now if you see this is f b o 
एफ बी ओ वेक्टर ओके एंड हियर वी हैव एफ सी ओ वेक्टर ओके एफ सी ओ वेक्टर the angle between them will be 120 degree okay the angle between them will be 120 degree so the resultant their resultant will be exactly here along the vertical upward direction y axis let's call that resultant equal to f r that resultant will be exactly in the opposite direction of f a o vector okay so let us determine the value of this resultant so that resultant will be let's say here all the values are equal f a o f b o f c o let's equal to f Okay, let us assign a common value f because they are all equal. So here, this resultant f r will be equal to f c o whole square plus f b o whole square plus two f c o f b o cos one twenty degree. That will be equal to. F square plus F square plus two F square cos one twenty degree. That is equal to F square. Uh, sorry, two F square into one plus cos one twenty degree root over. So if we write it in a different way, it will be. 2f square into 1 plus cos 2 into 60 degree. 1 plus cos 2 theta it will be 2 cos square theta. So that will be equal to 2f square into 2 cos square 60 degree. That will be equal to root over of 4f square cos square 60 degree. That will be equal to two f cos sixty degree. That will be equal to f only f. Okay, only the value will be equal to f. So here, this resultant value is equal to f. What is the value of this f? This is equal to f a o equals to f b o. Is equal to F C O. So F is equal to F A O. In this case, we'll write why. You will see F R is equal to F A O. Now I said that this resultant is exactly in the opposite direction to F A O. So here F A O is in this direction, and the resultant from the centroid point. that is also it has magnitude equal to f ao vector but it is in the opposite direction so they will cancel each other out and the net force acting on the centroid point the capital q charge placed at the centroid point is equal to 0 newton it will be 0 newton okay c first the point was the charge capital q q was placed at the centroid so we calculated the distance of the centroid point from all these three vertices they are equal it is an equilateral triangle and we got this okay then we used coulomb's law to find out the interaction force between this capital q charge placed at o and all these Three charges, small q charges, placed at three vertices. We got them. They are all equal in magnitude, different directions. 
FCO, FBO, they had an angle 120 degree in between them. They had an angle 120 degree in between them because why C? Let me specify that as well. C. This median it exactly bisects this 60 degree angle in two parts, so it will be 30 degree, 30 degree. So remaining how much? This triangle, this triangle, this 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 triangle, this B O C triangle. 30 plus 30 is 60 degree. So remaining angle will be 120 degree. Then opposite angles here. So this angle will also be equal to 120 degree. So they had an angle 120 degree in between them. So using simple resultant vector formula, we calculated the resultant as this. Resultant of FCO, FBO. That we got as F subscript R. F subscript R we calculated it was equal to FAO in magnitude, only in magnitude, but it was opposite in direction, exactly opposite to FAO. Since both FAO and FR they are equal in magnitude, opposite in direction, so they will cancel each other out and the net force acting on this capital Q charge placed at, placed at the centroid O of this equilateral triangle will be equal to 0 Newton. Okay?